Hey, this is Bri at Atlas Aphasia Center, and today I'm coming at you with a hot tip for how to use your phone or your iPad to help with listening, specifically for tricky things like dates and numbers and times, right? So for most people with aphasia, even if your comprehension is pretty good and you can follow along in conversations, somebody will throw something out there like September 18th at 3 p.m., Right? And you're like, I know you just set a date and a time, but I have no idea what they are. And many people will deal with this by saying, could you write that down? Right? And that's a totally valid way of dealing with it because the person writes it down, you look at it and you're like, got it, cool. Um, today I'm gonna show you how you can do that with your phone or with your iPad, uh, just to have another option. Maybe you don't have pen and paper around or maybe you're just more tech savvy and like to use your phone. Um, so if that's something that interests you, stick around and I'll show you step by step how to do it. So just as a quick example, right, you would have that person repeat again what they said. You'd push a couple of buttons, September 18th at 3 p.m. And there it is, right on your phone so you can see what they said. That's what we're gonna be doing today. If that sounds interesting to you, we're going to get started. Make sure that you have your phone or an iPad or tablet with you so that you can practice along. All right, so I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do this on an iPad. It would be almost exactly the same on an iPhone. And I know that I'm using Apple products, but every smartphone or tablet that exists today does this. You just might have to sort of look in a different place under the settings or look somewhere else for the microphone. But if you run into trouble, send me a message and I will try to help. All right, going through the steps on an iPad or an iPhone. The first thing you have to do is go to your settings. This will be on everybody's device. It's a little gray box. It might be somewhere different than I have it but it's this gray box with a gear to get into your settings and you will push it. Once you are into your settings, we're gonna to have to go over here on the left to general. I'm gonna zoom in, make sure you can see that. General, right here, boop. And then once you're in there, um, we have to go to keyboard. We'll make sure you can see that again. Keyboard, click it. All right, and then here is the ticket. You have to make sure that this right here, enable dictation, is turned on. You can see that mine is turned off right now. It will not work. This has to be green, this has to be turned on, so you're gonna push it. And when you do that, this little thing will pop up asking if you're sure you want to enable dictation, and you will say, yes, please, the top option, enable dictation. Cool, now we're in business. You can see that it's green, we are ready to go. So push the button to get back to your home screen. And the next thing we're gonna do is go to our notes or our notepad. And this is something that's on every iPad and iPhone. You don't have to download it. It should already be there. Um, but it looks like this little notepad, a blank piece of paper. And we're gonna click into it. And you can see I don't have any notes. Um, but I'm just going to tap over here to get started. And I have this fresh blank piece of paper awaiting. Now, one thing you might want to do, if you want to go back and search this later, you might want to kind of give this note a title. Like maybe you were at the doctor's and they're about to give you all this information and you want to be able to find it later. So what I did was just write doctor at the top. And then... Um, so if I'm having trouble understanding, let's say, you know, they're asking me to schedule my next appointment and I can't understand the dates that they're using. Um, here's going to be your best friend, this little microphone down here. So you're going to push it. The other person will talk. When they're done, you push it again. And that's it. Um, so I'm going to show you an example. Ready? So again, down there, that microphone. I'm going to push it. Are you available on December 2nd at 3 p.m.? Push that button again and let's zoom in. All right, so it just typed everything that person said. Are you available on December 2nd at 3 p.m.? And now you can just look at it and see what they're saying and then double check your calendar and tell them yes or no. 
Right, let's do another example. Again, we're gonna push that button. They're gonna talk. We're gonna push the button again. That's all there is to it. Um, so maybe you are trying to pay. They're giving you how much you owe and you can't understand how much money it is. Um, again, these are really tricky things with auditory processing with aphasia. So we would ask them to repeat. Could you say that again? Push the button. Your total is $212.36. Push the button again. All right, I'm going to put that in a new line so we can just see it a little better. But they said your total is $212.36. Nice. All right. Um, and I'm going to show you what happens if you forget to push the button the second time. All right, because you push it, they talk, you push it again. What happens if you forget? Why do we have to do it twice? I will show you. Ready? So let's say they are giving you the clinic's phone number. And you say, could you repeat that? The phone number is 555-123-4567. And then if you forget to push that button, it will keep going and going and going. And it will transcribe everything that that person says until you push the button again. Right, so you can see that it will um, just keep going. It's just going to keep writing what that person says. So unless you want a written record of every single thing they say, once they are done with the number, right, in this case it was the phone number, you would, sorry, you would push that button again to make it stop. You can think of it as like a start and a stop. All right, and that's all there is to it. All right, so here's another review just so that everything is all on the screen at the same time. What we're going to do, we are going to start by opening the notes app on your phone. Then when somebody says a date, a month, a time, a number, any of those things that are tricky with auditory processing to figure out what they've said, you'll ask them to repeat. You'll tap the microphone down here at the bottom of your keyboard the other person will be talking, right? So they'll say something like September 18th at 3 p.m. And then it will show up in your notes app. You will be able to read it and understand what they've said. And the last step is the least important, but you do have to tap the microphone again when they're finished talking, or it will just keep transcribing everything they say. <laughs> um, and some people might like that. You know, if you're at a doctor's appointment or something, Maybe you want that to be left on, um, but if you do not want a written record of your entire conversation, make sure that you tap that microphone again. Alrighty, let's see if we can do it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is practice. I'm gonna say some random dates, numbers, times, whatever, and I want you to use your phone or your iPad um, or whatever you have to push that record button your phone will hear what I'm saying, and then you'll be able to look at it and know the right answer. Um, you could do it all on your phone, or you could grab a piece of paper and number it one through eight. And I'll kind of cue you for when to push that button, when you should be ready to go. And then when I give the thumbs up, that's when you should push it again, or it will record everything that I say. <laughs> all right, um, hopefully this will work. It's kind of cool. Um, and we'll go ahead and get started. So. Are you ready? Let me get my, my random things so that I can say them. All right, number one, put this on your page. Press that button. March 17th at 11 a.m. Number two, push that button. $50,000. All right, number three. You will see Dr. Montoya. He spells his name M-O-N-T-O-Y-A. Okay, number four.
The phone number is 206-567-1168. Number five, I'm going to give you a zip code. Ready? The zip code is 98133. All right, we are on number six. Go ahead, push that button. June 7th, 1989. Number seven. Austin, Texas is 2,126.9 miles from Seattle, Washington. And last but not least, number eight. Your total is $1,085.72. Cool, I hope that worked. I'm going to replay that same audio with the answers. If you don't wanna see the answers yet, push pause, go back to any that you missed um, because the answers are coming up. All right, well, cool, I hope this worked. Let me know how it goes in the comments. All right, number one, put this on your page. March 17th at 11 a.m. Number two, $50,000. All right, number three, he spells his name M-O-N-T-O-Y. A. Okay, number four. The phone number is 206-567-1168. Number five, I'm going to give you a zip code. The zip code is 98133. All right, we are on number six, June 7th, 1989. Number seven, Austin, Texas is 2,126.9 miles from Seattle, Washington. And last but not least, number eight, your total is 1,000. $85.72. All right, y'all. Thanks for playing along with me today. Uh, this was kind of a sort of a different tip or trick as far as aphasia goes. Um, less focused on recovering those auditory comprehension pieces and more focused on using a strategy, right? Use your phone. We all carry them around all day. Um, let something else do the hard work for you. And I hope that it worked and I hope you thought it was cool. If you have other ideas for these videos, I would always love to hear them. I am happy to make more things that might be helpful for you. Thanks and see you next time. Atlas Aphasia Center is a nonprofit organization. If you can, please donate so we can keep making free videos like this.